Hi, I'm Akshay and in this part we're going to solve a problem of rotation motion. The question says that we have a rectangular plate. We have a rectangular plate and the mass of that plate is given as capital M. And the question is we have to find the moment of inertia of this rectangular plate about BD. BD being one of the diagonals of this rectangular plate right so let's uh, think how we're going to solve this problem let's make our approach here right what do we understand by moment of inertia we know that moment of inertia is essentially it is same as mass in linear motion but what what is it so moment of inertia just like mass moment of inertia is the resistance offered by any body to the rotational motion right we can think of the rotational motion of this rectangular plate ABCD as if this complete plate was made by two bodies one, one of them being ABD which is this part this triangle and the other one made up of triangle BCD which is this one right so the complete resistance offered by ABCD about BD would be same as that offered by ABD about BD and BCD about BD simultaneously right the resistance would be same since it is symmetrical about BD we have chosen these two triangles we can say that this must be equal to moment of inertia of ABD about BD plus moment of inertia of BCD plate about BD Right? And for a, a triangular plate which is a right angle, we have a formula if the length are L and B, the moment of inertia of such a triangular plate about its hypotenuse can be written as 1 by 6 mass of plate into L square B square by L square plus B square. How did we get this? Please watch the previous video for that. I have made it pretty clear in our last video that we find this part, we find this formula. So we can say that simply since these two plates ABD and BCD the mass of these two plates will be half of that of rectangular plate because of symmetry. Yes, one argument can be that and the other arguments can also be formulated in terms of area. Both are divided into equal areas and the mass is spread over the complete area. So mass is directly proportional to area. The area is half. Mass would be half and many more. So moment of inertia of ABD can be written as 1 by 6 into mass of plate which is M by 2 into L square plus B L square B square by L square plus B square. Our L this is L length this is B so this will also be B and this will be L. So this will be same because variables will be same as that of formula plus 1 by 6 m by 2 l square b square divided by l square plus b square which essentially gives us m l square b square divided by 6 l square plus b square so this is the moment of inertia of rectangular plate of this rectangular plate about its diagonal bd okay